What up, it's Brandon here, and welcome to my official M12 review. Now, I have been taking my time with this one. I really wanted to do it right, because I know this is a very beloved boot, and I've been pretty hyped about it myself. Um, before we get into the boot, though, just a bit of background on me. I have mostly skated the Razor Skate, and I've recently came off Razors, and my last skate was a them. So I'm gonna be comparing it to them, mostly and think of this as a review of someone coming from those two companies so if you're in the same boat this will probably be really good for you so the day i got these skates i avoided doing any grinds on them just because i really wanted to get some good shots for this video before i ruined the skates by putting scratches and stuff on them and somehow i've lost all that footage and all the photos for the thumbnail so all right you're going to see what the skates look like once they've been skated for a good month and i mean that's what they're going to look like anyway right and it's, they still look sick so that kind of sucks but anyway let's talk about the skate so the majestic 12 skate is actually a really really old boot mold really old uh, i think it's coming up around 40 years old which is very old but the i think the aggressive ones maybe were like 20 years it's only had some very minor changes made to it since it first came out and people still choose it as their favorite skate to this day, which is saying something about the boot design. A lot of tricks are invented in this boot mold. It's a little piece of aggressive roll lane history here. And it was one of my biggest motivations to go grab one. So right now I'm skating this skate completely stock, how it comes out of the box. And I'm being very impressed with the stock setup. I usually don't keep a skate how it comes out of the box. I usually at least change the wheels and bearings because uh, usually they blow out straight away. But these ones are holding up very well. So that being said, let's just go through how the skate comes stock and my thoughts on all the stock parts. Starting off with the liner. So I really like how the liner looks. First off, I really like the silvery look. It re does remind me of uh, probably some of the first ever roll blades I ever saw in my life with those cheap, horrible ones they get from like a rake shop or something. And they have this silver liner just like this. And for whatever reason, I really like it. <laughs> I think it's just kind of a retro -y throwback thing for me because those skates were never good, they didn't have good vibes for me, but I guess it was the first time I put on skates. But anyway, the liner does have the nice Rossi's handle, which is super useful just for carrying your skates. When you don't have this, you miss it so much. So super glad that it comes with that stock. Uh, the liner itself is quite comfortable too. Uh, I definitely wouldn't say it's a top tier liner, but it's, it's good. I do have some problems with the comfort in it. Uh, there's a weird seam on the inside, the back of the liner in the cuff area that does give me blisters sometimes which is weird uh, but other than that it's it's really comfortable and it's soft and good so good for stock but I may be swapping this out in the future we'll see the stock frames that come on it and they're just the Rosie's frames uh, they're actually surprisingly good for skating flat I did come from skating the crate series frames and that was my first time skating flat and yeah these are much better these have way less wheel bite so when I skated the crates Flat, I was having a lot of trouble with wheel bite. If like towards the end of my skate, an hour or so in when I'm tired, I start getting wheel bite no matter what, unless I wax the ledge a lot. But with these, I have way less trouble. Wheel bite is almost non-existent. Um, I think it's got to do with the thickness of the frame and just the shallowness of the groove. Because I know how much people really think that a deep, huge groove helps skating flat. I think it's the opposite. I think a small shallow groove is actually better for skating flat just from my experience so far but yeah the groove's good for flat but i did have one problem with this frame and that is coming from the crates they have this nice little i don't know what you call it like a ledge like a <laughs> piece of plastic that sticks out more than the rest of the frame around the bolts uh, that made them slide pretty fast and coming to this frame this frame felt very slow even with a lot of wax uh, when i first did a sole grind on it it felt really slow and i think it's just got to do with the amount of plastic that's touching when you grind and as well as the weird texture they have on these frames which is kind of like a it's like a cracked i don't know how you'd explain it but it's a weirdly rough kind of texture so it's not ideal but it does wear off and you do get used to it i think i was just used to the crs frames moving on though the stock wheels the 60 millimeters and they are 93 hardness which is the hardest and biggest wheel i've skated in a long time and i really like it they feel very fast and you know i've got no chips they're not wearing in very fast at all they're holding up really well and yeah they're really good i'm actually very impressed and on top of that the bearings i invested heavily in some ceramic bearings and i haven't put them in these yet because these ones have been just fine 
I've skated them really hot with it. None of them are blowing out. I've only had to swap one out and that's because I rode through some chewing gum and the bearings were gone at that point. I don't want to ruin all my bearings. So <laughs> yeah, very good. Overall, the stock skate is very solid and very skatable. So if you were worried that you couldn't afford the parts you want for the skate, get it stock, it's totally fine. You'll get your money's worth if you just skate yeah. stock. And unlike some skates, it's actually skatable stock quite well. I don't know if that's coming across right, I, but I do remember so my first skates, my first razors, they had the razor stock frame and it was a terrible frame. I was breaking bearings, losing bolts and it just wasn't good. Uh, and I can confirm that this is 10 times better. The stock Rossi's frame, the stock Rossi setup and wheels and everything, very high quality. And honestly, I didn't have any motivation to change anything in it except for maybe the liner. But nothing that I feel like I can't skate till I replace it. So thumbs up from me. So enough talking about how the skate is stock, let's now jump into some pros about the skate. So the skate definitely is not high tech, uh, there's nothing new and flashy about it, it's been the same skate for years, so there's not too much to talk about it and uniqueness there. But first pro I'm going to say about this is just the buckle. If you don't know this buckle, it's the memory lock buckle and honestly every skate made should have this buckle because it's just so much smarter than all the other skates. Uh, essentially how it works is you're always going to be skating the same tightness because instead of adjusting this side that well it's hard to explain but i'll show you you don't even have to adjust it you just hook it back in so it's always the same tightness and it's just so much smarter to me and just the metal parts the whole buckle just seems much higher quality than every other skate buckle out there so it's a huge pro another pro about the skate is it costs around the same as most pro skates but it comes flat and most pro skates don't so you're getting extra wheels even if you don't skate it flat that's a really good reason to buy it there another pro about the skate is it's really good for skating flat the stock setup for it is good and if you're looking to try skate flat i would honestly recommend just grabbing the skate stock and trying it out i think it'll work out well <laughs> another pro about the skate is it's one of the most solid feeling and sounding skates i have ever skated uh, the sound when you like stomp a trick or when you just do an air and land the sound it makes is like unmatched by any other skate. It's very solid and nice sounding thud, you know. And you've got to experience it to know it's so nice. You, it makes you want to like skate more, if anything. So there's nothing like it. Another huge pro about the skate is it's super responsive. I've never had an aggressive skate feel so a part of my foot. Uh, and that's shown in the fact that just recently, I, my whole skating life, I've always wanted to do an alley porn and rewind back out and I just could never do it. If I did do it, it would not feel controlled. It always feel like I didn't get into the grind properly, but you know, just trying it for a day in these skates, I got it so, I got it exactly how I want it and it felt so natural. And I think it's totally built the skate. There's something about just the this narrowness to it, the smallness of it and you know the buckle and everything i think it just becomes a part of my feet and i have full control over it and it's a really really good feeling and the final pro about the skate is just the fact that it looks dope i really really like the the navy blue with the silver highlights i think it works super well uh, when i wear the skates i'm just hyped to skate because i really like the look of my skates and yeah it's a nice change from skating just black and white skates my whole life and i'm super stoked that i got these Moving on to the probably more important part of these reviews, the cons of the skate. So it was pretty hard for me to find cons about the skate, but there is one, and that would be what everyone is most afraid of buying the skate of. It's just the, how narrow it is and like comfort. So this is the smallest size skate I've ever brought, which is a really risky move considering it's a skate notoriously known for being too small for people's feet. Um, and sadly, after about an hour Around two hours of skating, my little toe just on my non-dominant foot starts to get quite hurt. Uh, it's very similar to a feeling I used to get when I skated the OS skate, once it got a bit old. Uh, not quite as bad. If you ever skated that skate, once you skated for like two hours or so, your little toe was just absolutely destroyed from the Velcro strap. You'd like, you'd have to take them off because it'd be so painful. Uh, so I get a similar thing here just on my left foot, which is really weird. Uh, not on the right foot at all and if I do too much switch grinds or especially switch grinds then they do start to hurt quite a lot my little toe 
Um, it's been like a month now and it hasn't broken in either, which is a little worrying. I was hoping it would. Uh, but it's nothing unbearable yet, and I think the, just the whole feeling of the skate makes it worth it to me, but that is something to keep in mind. What I'm going to highly recommend you do, if you think about getting these skates, try some on first. If you have any way to try some on, do it. I'm thinking that if I get a different liner, it'd probably solve that problem, but for now I'm just going to put up with it because I really like how the skate looks and I really like how it feels. And I can just put up with that little annoying pain after like two hours. Two hours is probably enough skating for one day anyway. <laughs> Let's move on to my overall thoughts on the skate. My overall opinion on the skate is that it is an excellent skate. Despite it being such an old boot, it is still very a very top tier skate. It feels very high quality, it feels solid, and it's really fun to ride. I am super impressed with how great grinds feel in the skate, even despite it having such a small sole plate. The responsiveness is just unmatched in any other skate that I've skated. And yeah, I, I really like it and I highly recommend checking it out. I'd even go as far to say as it's my new favorite. Before now, before I skated this skate, the only skate I would ever recommend to people if they asked was the Razer SL, because I thought it's a safe bet, you know? It's generally really comfortable and you can do any trick on it. It skates super well. There's nothing weird about it. But the responsiveness of this skate just makes it so much better than all these other skates. And like the small compactness of it, it just feels so good and I highly recommend trying it out, it's so good. That being said though, I do recommend even higher that you try some on before you buy some. If it doesn't really fit you, if you do have a wide foot by any chance, it's probably not going to be as good of a skate for you. But yeah, I highly recommend getting a pair of M12s if you've tried some on and they don't hurt your feet. <laughs> so that sums up my long awaited Rossi's Majestic 12 Joe Ackerson review. I will be doing a follow up review showing you how they wear in or if I find any other nitpicks with them. So you should subscribe if you want to check that out. I'll also be doing a comparison video comparing them to thems and which one I prefer and why. So, you know, subscribe for that as well. That being said, if you want to see me on my first day skating them, you should check this video. I don't know which corner it is still. I want to say it's this corner. Uh, it was an I had an absolute blast and you can really tell how much I like the skate just in that video. Be cool if you check it out. Anyway, that's enough plugs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge, 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 huge shout out to my patrons, Deb, Dennis, Fabian and Flowey and Mike now. Uh, we got a quick video from Mike here. He just got back into skating after 20 years out of it. Check the clip. So sick that you came back into skating. Thank you so much for becoming a patron. Same with you, Flowey. But yeah, that's it. Cheers, guys. I'll see you guys on Wednesday with some skating. I hope. Check the new beanie too.